to Swarchla Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. A semen analysis report is the first line of investigation for understanding if a male is responsible for infertility in the couple. Uh, it's not just for that, it's also to assess how the reproductive system might be uh, functioning in a male. So instead of doing hormone tests, instead of doing ultrasonography, the first thing to do would be a semen analysis and a lot of information can be extracted from it from the fact that it has been ejaculated properly to the parameters within the semen sample itself. So I wish to give you more information about how to read a semen analysis report. The first thing that we look at in a semen analysis report when reporting for the sperm parameters in semen is basically the physical attributes of the semen per se. What is the volume? What is the appearance? What is the pH? Is it acidic, basic or alkaline? So let's try to discuss these. The volume of a semen normal sample can be anywhere from 1.5 to 2 ml and that has been prescribed by World Health Organization. The pH should be alkaline that is 7.2 to 7.6. It should not be acidic or basic. It should be alkaline. The appearance should be a white and milky. So if it is reddish or pinkish, we assume that there are blood cells which is uh, investigated by microscopic analysis. So these are a few things that we analyze physically. When we look at microscopic uh, investigation, we look at the concentration of sperms in the semen sample. It is uh, reported per milliliter and the normal values are 20 million per millimeter. This is to say that anything above this does not mean more uh, success rate and in anything below this has also uh, given success in many patients. Next comes the motility. Forward progressive motility is what's important and forward progressive and uh, uh, non-progressive together should be 40%. That is within 100 sperms at least 40 should be having some kind of motility. When it comes to morphology, strict Kruger's morphology criteria is followed and about 4% is what is required to be reported as normal. That is to say that in 100 sperms, Four have to be morphologically important because now morphology is a very important attribute for fertilization. A poor morphology sperm will not be able to penetrate the egg to bring about fertilization. Not just all this, the uh, total motile sperm count is also assessed. To, that's to say how many are motile and morphologically normal in a sample so as to give us a better success rate. All these are assessed and based on this reports are given to say that the count is normal therefore it is a normal zoospermia if everything is normal. If the count, motility or morphology are not good then it is um, reported as oligoestenoteratozoospermia that is all three parameters are not good. If only one or two are not good it may be called as oligoterato or esthenoterato depending on the kind of problem that we see in the report. So it's very easy to read a, a semenalysis report and depending on that treatment protocols are altered. If you want to understand more about this please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.